Once you pull spent batteries out of your flashlight or TV remote, they're useless. The average AA has less than 100 hours of juice in it before it goes dead. Every year, billions of batteries pile up in the US alone. But now, there's a way to use those dead batteries to create new life. Old batteries will be stripped and mined, then reborn into golden ears of corn. The salvage experts sort, grind, and sieve thousands of tons of batteries every year. The typical alkaline battery is a metal tube coated with paper and plastic. Inside is a zinc anode and a manganese cathode. It's those materials that the company is after. Manganese and zinc, the same elements that power a battery, can also energize corn growth. The first step in the battery's destruction is to sort them. 45 gallon drums packed with over 10,000 batteries land on the loading dock. Workers offload the drums onto forklifts that transport them to the sorting station. The next step is to free the zinc and manganese from the alkaline battery's metal casings. Hammers swing on an axle, stripping away the paper, plastic, and metal casings, pulverizing the batteries into half-inch chunks. A gravelly mix of paper, plastic, steel, and minerals falls onto a conveyor. The remaining manganese and zinc oxide powder fall through the screen. All the battery bits have been removed, leaving behind only the purest elements. A conveyor loads the custom blend into a truck-mounted spreader called a floater truck. An onboard computer displays the soil analysis and a GPS directs the spreader. The floater truck distributes the exact concentration of nutrients that the soil needs. Fertilizers contain plant foods, which increase crop production, aid in photosynthesis, and strengthen root systems. Cornfields can be deficient in manganese and especially zinc. Adding these minerals increases the effectiveness of the fertilizer. It only takes 2% of this growth booster to make a huge difference in the output come harvest time.